Hey everybody, it's Matthew of Mr. Domestic here at the Fat Quarter Shop Studio to show you how to make this amazing, like three dimensional star ornament that will blow your mind because you're doing it with fabric. A lot of times I think back to like paper crafts that I did as a kid or in kindergarten or elementary school and I am able to translate those into fabric use because of this amazing product called Terial Magic. Essentially this turns fabric into a paper-like substrate that doesn't fray that you can manipulate the same way you would with paper. Then there's a different video if you wanna go watch that before this one to see how you would materialize your fabric because this one is just going to be the construction of the actual ornament. So if you're ready to do that, let's get ready to rumble. Okay, so I have six of these. These are already materialized. If you can see it, look, this is fabric. Look, fabric. And Sandy, it looks like paper. It's fabric, trust me. This is one of the new Art Gallery Fabrics Pure Solids that are available now. And I'm just going to fold this. Why I have the ironing mat is that while finger pressing is okay, using an iron to press a terialized piece of fabric is even better. So I just fold it and fold it. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you in slow motion again. And then take my handy dandy iron. One, two, three, four, five. Counted to five, I don't know why, I just did it. And then now this one is pressed for success. And now I'm gonna do it one more time just to show you how I do it. See the square? Diagonal. Boom. Ta-da, look, it's a triangle. It's a half square triangle. Boom, there. Now I'm gonna press it. And I'm gonna do this to all four of the pieces and then I'll show you how to cut it. Hashtag Terialize, folks. Trying to make that happen. <laughs> so now we have six of these. So what you need now is some kind of ruler. I'm gonna use this, and I'm gonna use a rotary cutter. And then I'm going to use this Fabric Fuse by Thermoweb. This is my favorite fabric adhesive. It sets fast and it's super duper strong, and I use them for all of my ornaments. So I'm gonna take one, put these so I don't distract you. And then, now we're ready. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut three lines. So just so you can see where it is. This is where the fold is. So the fold right here, that's the solid fold. This is when you can open up, hello, how are you? Like that. And so I'm going to make three cuts. And I'm going a half inch, like this. And I'm gonna cut like an eighth of an inch away from that fold. And then go up another quarter inch and cut similarly. And then one more cut. Now it's done, and I'm gonna to need to do that to all six, but I'll go ahead and prepare one for you so that you can see what to do with this magic. And so now the cuts are done, I'm going to go ahead and press it one more time just to flatten this terialized fabric out. And I am ironing. I'm ironing it, not pressing it, folks. Boom. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue. Oh. Right here. And we're gonna fold them over. So now we're gonna roll this and glue. So just stick a dab of glue like that. It doesn't take a lot of this fabric juice. And then clip it. So I'm gonna roll it. 
Boom. And clip there. And then the other one is going to go the opposite way. Like that. like that and clip like this and then this one's going to go the opposite way like this. And don't worry that it's white. It's going to dry clear so you won't be able to see it. There. Okay. And this one is going to go this way. Boom. It's like a double cannoli, folks. Boom, and this is one sixth of the star ornament. So I'm gonna make five more of these, wait for it to dry, and then I will show you how to combine them all and make a magnificent star ornament. And voila, through the magic of filming, these have all dried and they are ready to attach. Like, boink, boink, it's so adorable. And I'm gonna use these mini clips here because they've gotta really get in there to glue. But all of these, just so you see, there's one that has a bigger, and then there's a side that has a smaller. They all need to go in the same direction to line up appropriately. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this, like this, and like this, just so that it makes sense. And I'm going to glue this point right here to that point right here. Oh, hey glue. Right here, so the little one to the big one, right at the point, and I am going to clip it. Clip it, clip it good. No. <laughs> and then here. Right here. Make sure it's clipped. And then also, I'm going to put a little dab of glue right here. Don't need a lot there. And then right here. And clip that. And this is one half, and then I'm gonna do it again. folks like this and then these actually this is one of the reasons that I love fabric fuse is that now it's not dry but it's tacky enough to where it's gonna be able to be manipulated right here give this one more press and then I'm going to go ahead and clip them all together in the center you can see what I'm doing so I can let it all dry at the same time do you see that there were three that were going this way, three going the other way, and I'm gonna go ahead and put one center clip here so that they can all dry at the same time. And I'll go ahead and attach this. Oh. Here. And then one more right here. Oh. Oh, 
Look at the magic, folks. Now we have to wait for it to dry per the instructions on the bottle. And then the final step in this will be using some of Lori Holt's Chunky Thread, the honey, for the hanger to go wherever you choose to hang it. So now the ornament is complete. And wow, folks, this has blown my mind seeing it like this. The only thing we have left is to create the hanger. And I'm going to use some of Lori Holt's Chunky Thread. I'm obsessed with it. I'm going to cut about, I don't know, this many inches. This is about 10 inches. And I do it a little bit longer than I think that I need because you can always trim it depending on where you want to place it. Like for me, I cut my strings as I'm hanging them because sometimes I need it to just fit in a specific place in the tree. So that's why I'm doing this here. And you can find wherever, you, if you wanted to do it like this, you could do it like this. If you wanted to do it like this, you could do it like this. I'm gonna choose this way. So I'm just going to put it here and then tie a knot and we're done. It's that easy. Easy peasy pudding pie. We're done. Oh, with this amazing terialized three-dimensional star ornament that you can create as an heirloom for you, your family, your friends, your holidays. Make a whole bunch of them, decorate the entire tree. You are going to have a blast with this. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to subscribe to the Fat Quarter Shop YouTube channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Maybe put some of your holiday plans for decorating, decor in the comments here. And then after that, head over to the Mr. Domestic YouTube channel, subscribe there, and let's have a blast together. Keep it positive, y'all. Thank you.